Welcome to the Platinum Review and Guide for this awesome, fun, scary, and challenging game, Resident Evil 2. This game is outstanding and one of the best Platinums I've ever got. It has everything you could want in a Platinum. Multiple playthroughs, speed runs, hardest difficulty run throughs, unique boss battles, additional side challenges, and a reasonable amount of easy collectibles. Let's start with the game review and then we'll do the Platinum review. If you wanna skip straight ahead to the Platinum part of the video, I've added chapters to this video. This game is a remake of the classic from the 1990s. It is a third person survival horror game where you come to Raccoon City and discover a city overrun with zombie-like infected humans and other gross species. You get to play as two characters, Leon and Claire, and both of these characters have two of their own separate playthroughs. Each playthrough differs in that the location of certain key items changes, even the order of events differ a little bit. So that means there are four different ways to experience the game in total. The supplies like health, ammo, and crafting items are very limited, so you're gonna be very careful as you play through the game and think about how you're gonna use things and what you're gonna use them for. And whenever you get into an encounter with some of these infected humans, you are gonna to have to make each gunfight really count because you don't have that many bullets, so you're gonna do your best to aim for headshots. It just adds a really good tension to the gameplay. If you're new to the Resident Evil franchise and haven't played one before, this is a great game to begin with. Onto the Platinum Guide. First things first, I would recommend having a blind playthrough as both Leon and clear without knowing anything about the game. This is so you can actually enjoy it and learn things for yourself. Doing these two runs, you will unlock a lot of story trophies and loads of miscellaneous trophies whilst also cracking on with the collectibles. Or if you wanna be really efficient and time is important to you and you don't care too much about spoilers, you can read, ahead, read guides online and get it all done in a minimum of four playthroughs, but it will be quite tense as some of those playthroughs, you'll be doing a lot of different achievements all at once. I don't recommend this personally, but of course, up to you how you want to platinum this game. So in the end, I actually took seven and a half playthroughs to get the platinum. This is how they were broken down. A blind playthrough with Leon and Claire just to enjoy the game and get a feel for it. S rank playthrough with Leon, an S rank playthrough with Claire, a half run in Leon's B story just to complete collectibles, and then one run where I didn't use any health items and didn't open the item box. This was definitely one of my funnest runs. It kind of made me play the game in a very different way. And I highly recommend you to do this in the middle of your playthroughs just to break things up. And then the last two playthroughs was Leon on hardcore difficulty and Claire on hardcore difficulty. In terms of collectibles, there really are just two main items, files and Mr. Raccoon toys. There are 15 Mr. Raccoon toys and 58 files. These two types of collectibles are spread out over the four runs, i.e. Leon A and B, Claire A and B. So you will need to get them across all four of these playthroughs. The great thing about the collectibles in this game is that they instantly save to your profile. So as soon as you've collected one, you can leave that run and go on to the next run that you're doing. The bad thing is there's no clear way of checking what you've collected so far in the playthroughs. My suggestion would be to do what I did, which is when I finished the Leon playthrough and the Claire playthrough, I loaded up my last save file, which was around about just before the final boss fight. I then opened up the files menu and got the collectibles guide online and then started comparing what I had to the collectibles guide. And then I would make a note of what I'm missing so that I knew next time I go into a playthrough, I know exactly what collectibles I need to get. In terms of the Mr. Raccoon toys, there's no clear way of tracking them, not even like that file method I just mentioned. You just have to remember which ones that you shot. The good thing is if you shot one in say Leon A, and you go past that location in one of Claire's A or B playthrough, you will see that it's been shot. So that is a good way of just keeping track of the ones that you've done. Then there's two other things that I guess can fall under collectibles. You need to unlock all safes and locks. There are eight in total, and I believe you need to do these all in one playthrough. To be honest, you will probably get this naturally as you're playing through the game and you wanna get as many items as you can. You will also need to upgrade all of your inventory slots to maximum. And again, I did this in my first playthrough without a guide, without even realizing I had to do it. I just did it naturally through playing the game, but it is something you wanna do in one playthrough. 
And then once you've completed your playthroughs and you kind of know the game and how it plays out, you want to have a look at the miscellaneous trophies online and just see which ones you're missing and then just work through those slowly one by one. You can even possibly load up some older save files from those playthroughs that you did and then work on getting some of these miscellaneous trophies. Most of them are extremely easy, self-explanatory, so I didn't feel the need to go through them in this guide. On to the fourth survivor trophy. Possibly for some people, this may be the hardest part of the Platinum. I found it very difficult personally. So this is one trophy that is from another game mode. You can find it in the extra modes and it's called Fourth Survivor. It is a very cool concept. You are a SWAT team member by yourself. You start the game in the middle of the game and you have to track back all the way to where the game starts off. So you go through kind of half the game in terms of the layout and levels. You start off with a preset inventory of loads of healing items, four different weapons, and loads of ammo and gunpowder to make more ammo. The trick is though, you cannot pick up any items. Those are all of the items you have for your entire run and you have to make do with them and make sure they last you till the very end. Oh, and did I mention you will face every single type of enemy that there is in the game all in this one gauntlet. Personally, I kept getting stuck in sometimes the same place, sometimes different places, and it was starting to frustrate me as I knew that I had many other playthroughs of the main game to get through. So just to speed up my platinum grind, I did look at guides online and I found an excellent one from the channel Optinoob who does great guides on all things platinum. So I have included a link to that in the description below. He provides a very doable run with a very helpful commentary. So those are my thoughts for getting the platinum on Resident Evil 2. Online, it seems to be ranked as around 6 out of 10, 5 out of 10. I would agree with that. I think it can be quite tricky in some places, but if you work hard at it and start to know the layout, the levels and where items are and what you need to do with all the items and all the different puzzles, you will start to get through the speed run very quickly and also the hardcore run you can end up doing quite quickly if you know exactly where to go. But overall, this is an amazing game and the thing I really liked about getting the Platinum in this is that I feel like I got the most out of this video game. I played it in many different styles and ways, speed runs, no items, no health items, etc. Hardcore mode, easy mode. So it really was a fun way to experience the game. And most of all, it was a very challenging Platinum in a way that felt quite achievable and not too difficult. So. I highly recommend this game. I'm so glad this is my first Platinum of 2023 and I hope this helps you to get the Platinum in Resident Evil or encourage you to play the game. Thanks for watching and take care.